I'm Peter Raymond. Uh, I've been a serial entrepreneur, uh, social impact, innovation guy, uh, creator, technologist, and all around uh, kind of mad scientist. I've always been interested in trying to figure out how to solve big global problems, uh, kind of the larger and the hairier the better. And I've always operated in this interesting space between science, art, design, technology, business. And when you kind of have all of those working together and you can build interesting business models around the things that are great in the world, like free and low cost clean water for people, how do you build better power systems? And if you can find that, that really interesting mix between the art and the science and the technology and there's a basic business model to work, that's where I always where I found a lot of success over the years. Since I was a little kid, I was just very curious in how things worked. I love taking things apart and kind of understanding how everything was connected. So a lot of people think of things in silos. In my whole life, I've really never thought of that side of larger ecosystems. And this kind of idea that the interdisciplinary mix, if you will, almost post-discipline, uh, that you can operate across kind of all areas at once and you can be good and curious in one or the other which leads to something else so my interest in photography led me to taking cameras apart and by taking cameras apart i got interested in how the actual film worked and that led me to chemistry and it's fascinating you kind of go back and forth between science and technology and design and art and i i find that when you have groups that can really do that quite seamlessly you end up in such a better place and it happens so much faster I think in all the focus over so many years of disciplines, I'm, I'm good at this, I have a master's or I have a PhD in this, I think it really causes you to narrow your aperture and miss what's happening outside of your own discipline. And the ability to open your eyes and open your aperture uh, to what's possible outside of your own discipline, which is way outside most people's comfort level, is the idea of being open and being outside of your comfort level to be curious. If you're truly curious, you actually don't care about a discipline. I found most people get stuck in disciplines because they've worked so hard to achieve something for either recognition or time to get somewhere else or the work that they've accomplished. They've often missed so much of what's right next to them. So I think if we get to kids early enough and really think about the idea of if they don't think about what a discipline is in the first place, will they ever have that narrow aperture to start with? So I had an opportunity uh, to sell the company that I built over the last uh, 10 years or so last year. And during that time, I was really exploring what uh, modern education looked like, especially for kids. We were working with kids in our labs. Uh, we were really fascinated with the inventions they would come up with. We had a small group of kids who we introduced to IBM and Autodesk. Uh, and it was, it was fascinating to see where they could come up with ideas and solutions, coming from this really interesting place of they're not biased yet, uh, they're at an age that's between childhood and adulthood, so there's this vulnerability that's there. Uh, but I found it was just brilliant. If you would put big problems in front of them, huge problems, they would look at it from a very different lens, ask really fascinating, sometimes often very simple questions. And because of that, I said, what if we were able to kind of bring a group of kids into problem solving and kind of redefine the way that they not only learn, but help us actually put these into motion so that they truly inherit and have agency over their future? So we started working with a bunch of kids and educators and school districts, and we've recently launched out of our social incubator, uh, the new bureau, Open Steam, which is a ed tech platform that we aim to reach a billion kids in 10 years and make them better global citizens and inheriting early on the agency to solve the problems that they will actually inherit, like food, water, the environment. Uh, different monetary systems, if we can get them understanding how AI truly works, how blockchain really works, how IoT or Internet of Things works, and give them the ability to invent and ideate around that, they can learn math and science and the arts and financial literacy all as they go. They don't necessarily have to sit in a classroom and learn the entire corpus of knowledge that they'll probably only use 1% to 2% of in their entire life. We don't really see the idea of subjects. So, you know, you have things that are science and math or arts focused. We really look at, we are problem focused. So if you can create a well-defined problem statement and then start thinking about all the stakeholders and thinking about all the people and other elements that that will serve, including our planet, uh, kids will grow up in an extra planet planetary society. Most likely a human being will be on Mars during a middle schooler's lifetime. 
And so we saw that there's no way to really kind of silo the idea of this part's the science part, or this part's the math part, or this is the art part. It's, what do we have to do to solve the problem and use any discipline and all disciplines possible to do that? And I think if those scenarios where you can find that and do that again and again of bringing different types of people together, pushing their own boundaries, but understand it's where one plus one can equal a thousand. That's really where the, the kind of post-disciplinary pursuit is. And I would really encourage others to be open and go into rooms with people that are very unlike you. I think you'll find great success.